Fastest game in world's history. G2 must be shell-shocked right now. I'm shell-shocked. They just got rocked. If you lose like every year with the same roster, in the end you kind of like question yourself, can this roster even like do it? I can see a world where we do have a different roster next year. Everyone has to make their own decisions on that. So the roster question is always hard. G2, of course, is probably a different story than any other team in the world. I think after playing together for such a long time, a change is usually beneficial for both sides. We have tried two years and we failed two years. There's definitely a lot of doubt in everyone's minds. Before our show, we received an update regarding the LEC Spring Split. In light of the uncertainty during the rapidly changing COVID-19 global pandemic situation and in an abundance of caution, we've decided to err on the side of player, fan and staff safety. We will provide updates through our social channels and we want to thank you for your understanding and we hope to see you soon. What happened and what got us to this stage? The rest of the league is still running normally and then lo and behold, 15 minutes before broadcast, we're, we're suddenly, we're cancelled, the LEC is gone. The sad thing is though, obviously since there will be no MSI, you won't get the chance to test yourself against all these other teams. There is no this like, the golden road anymore, because there is no MSI, so <laughs> we can just win the world ah. of winning MSI. <laughs> there is going to be all the events, you know. How do you think the other league teams in general are coping with the situation? Yeah, the level is not high and the situation is very annoying. I'm happy going to Worlds and I'm very glad that the Worlds are taking place. I would prefer, I, I prefer that over cancel, even though we have to go through quarantine and all of this. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy that you're filming me here in Frankfurt. Now, uh, first stop. Have a good shot, haha. Strong man. Hey guys, this is Caps here. This is day one of quarantine. We will be quarantined for two weeks, which is like a Pretty long time. Currently in the fourth day of quarantine. I'm losing track of time. Kind of like this last one in terms of like sleep schedule. It's mostly Netflix and chill and uh, solo queue. I think it's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. This is day six or seven of quarantine. I kind of like quarantining actually, like being alone, being able to do whatever the fuck I want. We have basically we have one more week left and I can't wait to get uh, some like good food when I'm out of this place. Just one week left, so hopefully uh, hopefully we'll make it. <laughs> Day nine, I think, of the quarantine. Four days left or five. Day 11 of quarantine. Kind of looking forward to getting out. I mean, I like the like staying here and, and just being alone. That's pretty much what I've been up to. Uh, hope you guys are having a good time and uh, hope you enjoy this content. I did laundry, back in, back I worked back out, back. and I fucking yeah, I uh, showered, I and, I, I, and I did everything. Look, this is a prime, 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 prime meat in the market, dude. Nice, dude. I didn't really mind the quarantine because I already went through quarantine when I went back home after spring speed. So I kind of knew that how is it going to look like 14 days alone. I think the two weeks actually passed quite fast for me and I'm really happy to be back with the team now. Are you feeling me like checking out the view? All right, food's here. That was an adventure, let me tell you. Okay. I kinda want to split something, you know? Yeah, what are you eating, bad boy? At first when I told us we have to quarantine, I really didn't want to go. <laughs> I wasn't very ready to experience it. <laughs> it was very fun. Um, so yeah, didn't like it. Not a fan. That's our favorite pizza. Mm. Okay, that's enough. Let me eat my pizza. <laughs> it's very good. Just film someone else. <laughs> it's always exciting to be at Worlds. Uh, although like the circumstances, I guess like the entire year has been like kind of a mess. I don't pers I'm not person like the biggest fan of like, but this is just like the situation we we are in right with like the, the pandemic. But yeah, I mean, we just have to deal with it. It's still like what I guess we play for, this team at least. Not like we don't care about LEC trophies or anything. We just like, well, we want to like try and win Worlds, right? So this is like what we are playing for. Where's the fucking wraps though? I smell like shit. I mean, I sh oh my God, please don't film this. I mean, I'm wearing a jersey that I didn't like wash for like a week, but I didn't wear it for a week.
It's just I don't have any jerseys because all of my jerseys are V2 jerseys. Because you know what? I'm a slave. I'm a slave to a little legend. Slave. So on behalf of everyone here, happy birthday. Can we all sing happy birthday? You don't have to. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Luca. Happy birthday to you. That's what they do at birthday. So you guys can't see me cringing. <laughs> Why did you have to ruin my birthday? Because that's what people always do at birthday. They do like. No, I cannot do this. Polish people. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tradition. I don't actually remember celebrating like last time birth, like celebrating like I don't know what the celebrating birth. I mean like like I go to last year. I would, no, two years ago we went to like a club in Korea. That was pretty fun. Um, I mean it's weird not being around. I mean I'm used to being around away from home, but it's yeah I guess weird not being around home for birthday. But then again I don't really like mind that much <laughs> if I'm away from a birthday or not. It feels nice to get wishes and FaceTime, the best we can get with technology nowadays. Alright, come, fall in, fall in. Oh, this is the oldest part of Shanghai. Uh, most building over here were built in the Qing Dynasty about 200 years ago. When we cross the street, pay more attention to the scooters than the car. The car will stop anyway, the scooter will not. Never. <laughs> Are you filming me filming the surroundings? That's three eyes. Oh, I don't know what that <laughs> It's the chosen one. These, these knots in your forehead. <laughs> uh, it's very pretty. I like it. I haven't seen much of it yet. But it's nice. And in our language, fortunately, same pronunciation with step. It's high, it's high, slightly different. So. Every time when you pass this place, you step on the coin, means you catch your money. Okay. And this Good is, a, yeah, this means it's a it's a shape of the jade wheel called the Wu Yi, which means may all your wish come to true. I stepped on the good a good wish or something, so mm -hmm. I can win worlds, Charlie. What did you wish for? I wish to win worlds, and I also something else, but I cannot show. Showing you the butt. me the butt for my camera. Can I buy one? Can you? Can you? Can you one? Yeah. Yeah, I have. I can buy one. How many do you want? Imagine what our gaming room will be. <laughs> I can't wait to come back and make the whole hotel of air. It's all gone, like one did super full and all of it will come out. It's really true, yeah. You know how there's like a little outcrop on every single floor? Like yeah. a little circle. Yeah, you go there, everyone just, goes to one circle and just starts whistling. <laughs> I think we'll get fucking kicked out instantly, I think. No, we'll, we'll, we'll do it once and then walk away. We'll, we'll all do it once and then just like walk away and pretend that that happens. Your souls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do twice. Thank you. You'll never get out. Really? Yeah. So I'm just your prisoner. Oh, you're a prisoner. Actually, I don't even remember what I did for my birthday. Like the first two years I was in high school before I moved out. I don't think I had like any big celebrations.
Three hours of content. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Fucking tassels. That's good. What if, what if I give you the ones with my name and you give me the ones with your name? No. And there will be like a couple. Because I'll be like your boy and he'll be like my boy. The movies. Not gonna lie. Huh? <laughs> That's why I have ten. Come <laughs> <laughs> here. Isn't it Machi? Come sit, sit with me. Yeah, you, you. We like to have like one seat. I'm coming. Come sit with me. Yeah. All right, fuck my team. Fuck the hell. Come here. What's popping? Is this the Among Us lobby? This is the Among Us lobby. I think playing on stage was actually way more fun than playing online. Of course, we couldn't really play online since, you know, the times are the way they are. And we didn't play on stage since Spring Split last split, so it's been half a year. But at the same time, I'm very glad and I'm very happy that we are back on stage and I'm grateful to Riot that they made it happen so that we can actually play offline. Uh, and I think the stage is also very nice. Everyone has so much space and the desks are nice and everything is just perfect. So I'm really liking the setup. No, you don't come back. There's no coming back. You bow and then you fist pump, fist pump, fist pump, and you leave. It's nice and clean, nice and simple. No one gets caught on camera wandering around in the clouds where they shouldn't be. Now, if you want to play with some of this magic, if you want to play like, oh, we're on the edge of a bridge and we, great, play with it. It's great for the fans. They really, really enjoy that. What if I'm carrying a wooden like outside of this area? Um, it'll look like you're holding him over the bridge and his life is in danger. Actually, yeah, which could be kind of cool. We could carry, we could carry you. It's about, it's about, it's about, it's about carry playing it. <laughs> we can carry not breaking it. Okay. All right, if you want to goof, you goof. But the second you go like that, we can carry Rosny. Let's go. All right, cool. We're going to fall down. We can, though. As long as you do it safely, guys. Guys, I'm standing outside of the car. Now you're in the car. Okay, take the car. Take the car. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, 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 you're on the edge. Drop him down, drop him down, drop him down. Nice work, guys. All right, good luck. Wish you the very, very best, all right? I thought that it's like on top of a building, but it's not. The people are flying, look at them. These two people, they should be falling down, but they are not. They are just, they are just standing on the air. It's crazy. Well, it's like a long tournament, so it's not necessarily about being at your best, like doing groups. Of course, we need to make it out of groups, ideally as first seed as well, but the real important start in like the best of fives. And as long as we can make it there, uh, we should, hopefully will be able to like find some way of playing that, that can bring us all the way to the final and hopefully take the trophy. Yeah, Suning. Um, as we've seen with pretty much most of the meta, right now it's a lot about invading junglers. This team really likes to go for Baron and make you come to them. So we need to be aware of that and yeah, just a general support tempo. That's, that's, that's the advice, that's it. I'm doing everything in specific. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on stage, and I'm done. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> this player management is here. I'm exposed now. Is this your first time? Is that your first Yankos part? <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> oh. This happens all the time. Every day, 10 times a day. Yeah. This is like yeah, such a normal occurrence that. for us, like every was, single day. That was my very first time. <laughs> 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 you never forget your first Yanko Spark. Just don't like spread it too much, like the info about it's it. It's literally don't don't tell me. <laughs> A lot of LEC fans out there are excited to see G2 Esports get out here and compete. I define this team by the risks they're willing to take that make them fun to watch and up against an LPL squad, the region that has historically been known 
for being a kill heavy, fight heavy, in your face kind of region. I think this matchup should just be exciting from start to finish. I think we should go on them here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should, go, 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 go. It's still at half HP. Suning still working on this one. Over the wall comes Yankos. He's in the pit. He's looking to maybe steal this one away. The Drake is going to be taken low. It's secured by Caps. Oh, I got it. <laughs> nice. nice. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> Ooh, Sword Art tried to engage there, but the dredge line only finds terrain, and now Sword Art's in a really bad spot. True Shot Barrage nearly finding the kill. Sword Art walking away. Now, last Mystic Shot will not find him. SOFM looking to engage on the top side here as Angel's going to be caught oh, out. Tries to go for the last cone, gets taken down. Sooning still sticking around. They don't want to give this away for free, but they make the call to go in and fight 4v5. It looks like they do. Yes, they will. Mickey's in some trouble. Enchanted Crystal Arrow flies out. Sooning going in for the fight. Wonder in the middle of four people. Two shot barrage coming through. Finds the kill on the Huang Fuck. Sword Art's taking all the damage down. Mystic shot over the wall. Perks with the follow up. Able to find the kill. SOFM still alive, but he's down to one third HP. He goes in. He's looking to steal the drink. He's not able to do it. Here's a losing hand, buddy. Yankos ends up grabbing the kill. Facilitated by Caps and G2. We'll take the Elder Trade. Enchanted Crystal Arrow fired off, looking for some damage onto Yankos. Ben goes into the ultimate, keeping himself alive. G2's on the push. G2's looking to make the play. Wonder into the dive, looking to disable the turret, keeping things going. Wonder's going to be killed off. Wan Fung taking that one. Beautiful scatter the weak and SOFM running. SOFM goes in. He tries to dodge away a little bit more damage, would trigger the Elder Dragon, but they won't be able to find it. The dredge line now Caps down to the, the back. X, looking to find the kill. Caps into the back line, trying to find the wild cards, trying to find the damage. Caps is going to be barely escaping. The damage down on the remaining players. Perks is out. Caps is throwing the cards around, looking to finish off the Nexus turn. He won't be able to do it. And it's an ace for Sunni. Give me five games of this pop directly into my veins. This is Worlds. This is League of Legends. This is Sunni. Looking to end the game. Nexus turret's being kept alive now by the Bard ulti. Perks and Cap gonna be coming up here in just a moment. Soon in, going for the game ending push, going for the team fight, looking to find the damage. Wonders going into the ulti now, looking to mount the defense. Ben runs away. Wan Fung's gonna be taken low. Wonders the first one to die, and Yankos is nearly gonna be killed off now. Where's the focus gonna be? Players or Nexus? Behold! It is one for one. They're trying to kite themselves back. Wan Fung stays alive, using the QSS, keeping himself in a good spot. Cap coming in with the ulti. Gold card goes out. Wan Fung goes down. Sword oh, Art is going. In. He uses the ulti, getting himself in a good spot now as the TP comes through from G2. They're into the top lane of the base. It's Perks, baby! Knock, knock! Open the hell up! The Nexus is the target! Suning's advance is resisted! G2 has persisted! And Perks insisted on a win in this game! Woo! I yes, it on the top. Oh. Banger! Why can it never oh. be this? Why does it always have to be like this? Well, <laughs> some things never change, right? Some things never change. We took it from Fuck. a few. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. really smurfing on, on Bart. Thank you. Like when I watched them, he was like just dancing in their face. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty huge balls. <laughs> you said you wouldn't, you shouldn't get caught. Oh, no, I said you, I said you guys. That's no, what I need help yes. with. Yeah, no, okay. I said I need help with. Yes, I'm saying you shouldn't get caught. I'm helping you right now. Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm helping you. Because okay. I, I don't get caught. That's the thing. I am the most He's humble person. He's the most cocky. The already. most humble person I know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty humble to say. <laughs> But we did just beat Suning, so we'll uh, we probably just, win Worlds. I got, I got told by Laura, it's the first time we beat LPL team. Yeah. The fact that we won this game is just like, we just actually can't lose Worlds. <laughs> We're about to jump into Machi taking on G2 Esports. Level 1, so I showed Mickey their last like 9 stage games on blue. Their top laner has been standing in the top river bush every single time, and he did it yesterday as well. So we can do something level 1. I have Q as well, flashes. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit, the level ones. G2 Esports take down Machi and remain undefeated in day three of Worlds. G2 are the team you look at when you're hoping for a deep run out of the LEC. And on paper, they are expected to clap Team Liquid here. Oh, they're going okay, in. An ally has been slain. Team Liquid will find their first win of the group stage, knocking out the LEC sweethearts of G2 and getting a taste of revenge from MSI 2019. What's bound to happen? It's true. We are too cocky. 
guys. And I had to get their win somehow, I guess. It's always fucking anime. Yeah. I guess everything will come down to Thursday. So the day after that. Yeah. I think overall we took it uh, more serious playing on, back on stage again. Uh, of course, there's always the difference in that once you play at home, it's kind of the same setup that you play on uh, day out and day in. You know, there's no real crowd or anything, so there's like no outside factors uh, besides like I guess like the changing setup, uh, getting used to it, and, and all these sorts of things. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's like that's like the clearest difference between uh, sitting at home and like being on stage again. <laughs> if you wish, we can do it. For How many wins do you guys think we can get today? Four. At least <laughs> three. At <laughs> least <laughs> no wins. Four. Three wins. Three wins. But I already won one game in solo. So then we can only win two games. I I also won one game in solo. So then we can only win two games today. <laughs> Team Liquid left before us. Shit. I mean, of course, they left before us. Okay, there is a saying where you say that whoever is rushing it gets like, it's not good, you know? Whoever is rushing, it's not good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a lesson. What a great Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race, yes. Did you hear that? Did you catch it on camera? Slow and steady wins the race, that's why we are like slow and Kimli could win already because they are like, you know, rushing steady. and we are slow and steady. Well, well, it's rushing, it's not good. Enough. And today's two games, so we cannot like let it all out yeah, in the yeah. first one. We have to save some energy for it. That's true. And if we win that one, probably through. Okay, Charlie, I'll flip a coin here and whatever I get to, it will be like my identity in game, okay? So, oh wait, I shouldn't. So, um, I choose this one. Oh shit, I'm a doppelganger. I don't. What, what does do doppelganger do in Werewolf? You, you copy someone else, so you pretend to be someone else. Who, who you are you going to pretend to be? <laughs> yeah, I'll pretend to be a good jungle for today. <laughs> I'm imagining here today, if there's not any sort of catastrophes happening inside of the game, G2 is probably going to take this comfortably. I'm ready. Like I have to see. I'm not dying today, actually. Luca, you know though, if you pay the champ, you have to say Yin, not Jin. Ah, oh, I'm not dying to the grabs with Yin or anything else. Okay. Today? Oof. All right, Today, I like uh, I'm going the headless three games in a row. I like That's that. Good. Do you want to run at him now? Yeah, we can run at him. Yeah, there's Storm Strike, half the health bar now onto Impact. It looks like they're going for the dive. Great stun comes out in first bloods. Oh, so easy. Now Tactical having to deal with a big old bear running down here. Caps will turn up. Phase dive on top of the Callista as Fate Skull comes down. Only a single knock up, but Core JJ, an amazing phase breaker. Yankos diving on in, but he might have been a little bit overextended as he is going to be taken down very quickly. Wild growth onto Core JJ to keep him alive, but there is the hijack on Slot and Shadows. And I feel like the wallets are too heavy on the side of G2. Two kills already make it a double for Perks now as Tactical is doing the best he can, but it is not going to quite be enough. And this should be the game for G2. We actually did it. We beat NA. <laughs> Wait, we have yes. <laughs> Wait, we yes. we're, like, we're kind of out now. We're, we, I mean, we're kind of out. That's like one case we're not out. But we're basically out, guys. Okay, Jet, thanks for the stats. Hey, good job. Hey, good job. Thank you. You died. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's so fucking broken. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, I will have perfect KDA the rest of the day. Okay, okay. And I'll still have one, one death. <laughs> if I have only one death for the whole day, it's kind of insane. Okay, the food is arriving around 7 p.m., okay? And I'm getting hungry. So like, make sure that like, we don't end this game too fast, but we're still winning. See whether he can canter around and grab himself self a kills. There's the bowling ball, and drowsy is the Ariana. Flash gets passed. I hear that hit. Look, okay, okay, okay. Chest flash, chest flash. Yeah, yeah, no mercs, right. no, no mercs. And they're sipping what? Oh. Nice. Oh, wait, well, hold on. That's Qualified probably. just bring it to them. Yeah, Shockwave is going to completely miss, though. It's just encircling the cow who will be given away in tribute. I'm going on. Is he a flash? Uh, I think so, yeah. Is that top? Is that top? Is that top? Oh, no, he's no, 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 no. He's sleeping? He's sleeping. Nice. He's sleeping. There's the headbutt pole under Mickey. Massive damage from Perks, though, as Koala says, nope, this is not what I wanted. The Ignite was ticking down, but it's not Whoa! going to make it just yet. As oh, he gets taken out by the passive of Yankos. Over the wall he goes. It's a double kill oh, for the no. Lilia. Make that a triple. No, it's the Shen that steals it away. And the Nexus will go down. G2 have now qualified.
into quarters with this victory. Yeah, you don't have to. Okay, guys, guys, take the picture. Take the picture so we can eat. Take the picture. Fast. No, 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 wait. Join me, dude. My boy Pinoy and Red Bull. Yeah. Look at that. What a fucking Perfect. Thank you, guys. Nice. What? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Yankees have improved a lot throughout the year. Uh, I think in the past we played mainly through like other lanes, and I was kind of just like trying to survive and then doing plays like outside of laning phase. Um, but this year I feel like we're playing a lot more together. We have really good synergy in terms of like invading camps or making sure I get push outs, etc. That's a good game. I mean, you actually gave up a lot of mid to help me with that. I mean, for me, not for you, maybe. I mean, I was I mean, trying to learn how to score a bunch of kills, I guess. Yeah, you got like so fast this case. I mean, you had three items like that. It's liquid home. What was the meme, the, the call meme? Check your bank account? So, ah, uh, so liquid. Uh, I have to, uh, I, wait, do I have to check my bank account? Wait, don't we have to win instead of losing? We have to win. win yeah. yeah, so yes, you get paid to win. But if we lose, we have a time record. We have Suning and G2 loading onto the Rift. And last time these teams played, it was one of the most intense games in world's history. And the stakes are so much higher now. This game will decide the fight for first in Group A and the fate of Team Liquid. If G2 wins, G2 is first and Team Liquid and Suning face off in a tiebreaker game. If Suning wins and G2 lose, Team Liquid is out of worlds and G2 and Suning have to play an extra game, a tiebreaker for first. EU holds NA's faith in their hands and also the chance to lock first seed. Do you guys need a massage? <laughs> yeah, I need a massage. Anyone need a massage? Please, please. Please, guys. Okay, we got you guys. We got you, fam. Uh, narrator, we did not get them. <laughs> <laughs> Syndra on the way in. Angel now has a bit of mana. Big scatter of the week in the turn. That's going to be first blood. Hey, I'll double here. I'll double here. Yeah. No flash, no flash, no flash. Nice. 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 I'm going to hit top. Beautiful. TP. Send up from here. Send up from here. Big damage coming in. Perks now needs to make his way out to safety. Yankos is going to get shut down on the back side, though. Absolutely just shredded through by that Syndra. Now G2 are caught between the entire team. They're trying to get at least one kill back, but G2 very much over committing, getting nothing. And Vid now going in on Caps. He's running out of mana pretty rapidly, but I still think his trade favors him overall. Caps doesn't seem like he's going to be able to turn this one. One more stun just gets the Z drive resonance and is now running out to safety, but here comes SOFM. Where's the flag and drag going to go? Waiting for the ultimate. They're covering every angle. Gets him with the chilling smite. And my god, Sooning, they're on the path to win this game. The game is kind of hard now. So. Yeah. We just try not to in so hard. And then maybe you can like win late game anyways. Perk simply next. They're gonna take him out too. They're ignoring Caps. They're just chopping down squishy members one at a time. Caps wants to do everything that he can to bring this one back, but he can't even kill SOFM. Mickey gonna get dropped as well. Precision protocols left and right, and it'll be a tactical sweep for Sooning, because they are just cleaning house. G2 could not do it when it mattered most. Yeah, I guess we didn't want a night to make it. I mean. Oh. <laughs> I'm so fucking free. I'm so giga free. Like I don't get it. I really don't. I think if we just be Leon our set and we just match team fight, like fights and we just fight, I think Jam is so fucking garbage. So I actually don't know why it could be like. Go with like the Kalisa Senna. Maybe I guess it's really OP if we don't need level 1. Maybe we should just like not talk about this. Honestly, uh, we're gonna get killed to the end. Just like enemy bot was like 4 is down, even after we have like level, level 1. Just don't talk about the game, okay? This yeah. game just ends. Like it's so, it's so useless to talk about like this game because we have a nice game. We can talk about this game. Like, yeah, I mean, I agree with like, like, I mean, like, Grab like, is talking Grab, so I'm just uh, I'm saying that I don't think Java was like useful. You know, talk about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now only two remain. And after the previous game, you might be thinking that only one remains because Suning came out with the nastiest right hook I have ever seen. G2 potentially giving them that opening with the draft that they opted for, but G2 not really standing any kind of chance in our last regular scheduled game. 
Hey, this guy's uh, hinting. hinting, hinting. There's no flash, no flash. Oh, this shit. Fuck, is he hinting? Hey, he got this guy. He in one. I hit no him. No flash, no flash. He ran. Do you have anything? You don't have that with you. I'm around, I'm around, I'm around. They're going. I'll flash, I'll flash, I'll flash. They're holding, they're holding. GPL trying to zone people out. They're going to try to one tap SOFM, but Challenging Spike comes out clutch onto Caps to deny the damage. Still, Yankos will finish the job. Angel waiting for an opportunity. Where is he going to go? Perfect execution. Dash back on the Shuriken flip. Will not overcommit here. Will back away. So G2 coming out on top. SOFM moving up to take the red buff. Consistent resource denial, but again, one one. Overstaying his welcome here in the mid lane. He is going to get pulled back and taken down. Unlike last game, this one isn't just immediately over if we go late. And that's important to remember because the last time these two teams played, it was very close in the final fights. That said, Caps is not where he needs to be. He's now being locked down. He's now being absolutely one shot as Angel takes the ult to the face. I will kill Grace. They might get an Okay, Go hard on bad. Grace is trolling, Grace. Trying to lock down Sofum. Should be a pretty easy one to flash out to safety. Big ult across. Now Drowsy and solid kill pickup. But in the meantime, Angel's absolutely styling. Zoom and dash and left and right goes. Golden buys a bit more time. And now Mickey on the way out as he gets shut down before he can even dunk down on the opposition. And the big GP ultimate, the Death Doubter, landing right where it needs to go. Wonder, though, going to the death form. Now a zombie now running forward. They have to burn everything to slow him down to stop it. Hornfunk forced to flash out to safety. Angel potentially could be in trouble now. They've Lost a lot here on the side of G2, but maybe, just maybe, they can find a fight back in their favor. Going Golden again, and the shutdown back onto Perk. Sooning breaking open the base, but G2 still finding a fight. Remember, we still win if we just sit in base. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. It's and not if, gonna end. It's really sad if we throw this game, if we just like get flanked or something. Yeah. One auto from G2. One auto! Not going to be nearly enough. Ooh, the clients now coming out, though. They're getting a lot of those cooldowns. GP all coming in. They haven't quite started the fight the way that they want to, but Caps now backing off the suplex down in the meantime. Yankos now dashing forward, looking for the sleep. The going golden. Sooning may have found the fight that they were waiting for. Perks now on the run for the hills. Oh, and now it's a trade back and forth. Perks still alive. He's grabbing souls left and right, though, and Sooning can't make a big enough dent to stop G2's push forward. If I'm Sooning, I'm just, like, sprinting towards the base with this Baron. That's really the only option you have us, but you don't have oh, very no, many ways to Oh no, resetting! Out. They're gonna fight for it! Bin's resetting to TP! No, it's gone! It's gone! That's it! That's Dragon Soul! Oh, but as they back out, as they back out, they're not put together. You've got Gangplank on the flank, Gangplank! One big shot, Bin! Can you do it? Here Huge! My God! One moment, one shot, one barrel! That's all you need! Suiting! They find their shot, they find their fight, and that's it! And now Suiting will move up, they will take first seed in Group A. In true LPL fashion, rolls the dice, TPs into the fight, and blows G2 up. No. That was a banger, dude. <laughs> it true. was a banger. I'm I prefer second like seed it. anyway. I'm gonna just stay in the base. No. I mean, like that, yeah, maybe. I mean, this fight we could have won if I played it better, I think. This fight we could have chased him and then. I like this game, we could have won. It's Probably. fine. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We entered so much early game, honestly, that it was disgusting. Like mid game. Yeah? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Well, we'll get him in semis. Hmm? We'll get him in semis. Yeah, about that one. <laughs> when watching games backstage, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit bitchy for sure. It's not about not wanting to tilt the players. It's like there's, there's no point in bringing up like these little things that we all know were a problem in the game. The players know, we know. When we're watching the games backstage, it's a lot of frustration. Mostly, I'm just sort of vocalizing my thoughts so that it can go through grabs, essentially. There's no point having both of us trying to talk at the same time, and then we also have to talk about draft and stuff going into next game. So trying to give my thoughts to grabs, and then he can do what he wants with them. And then I do what I can do in scrims through the week, and then in terms of how we prepare for the series. I guess we can start debrief, I can start. Um, I mean, it's a very long day. It's really hard to like talk about the games. I think the the first game against Liquid was clean. The first 10 minutes against Machi were good, and then it fell apart and, like, in terms of like playing clean. It honestly played out like I expected it to. I, yeah, I expected to lose to Team Liquid, and then like lose to Zuning and then lose the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> I think we kind of knew Sunink is a good team. In the second game we played a draft that we weren't comfortable with because it's something we didn't practice enough in scrims. And I believe the third game was also a couple of mistakes in draft that made the game difficult. I feel like we can 
outgrow them as a team, and I feel like right now we are playing much, much better. One hour, one hour. One hour waving. I'm slightly afraid that maybe we don't actually have time to be as good as we possibly can be, but we will just try our best and try to get everything we can. I feel like a pope. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like pope. What the fuck? I didn't really mind who we get as a draw. Um, well, I, I guess some part of me was hoping for Genji just because they should be the weakest out of the other teams. Um, so, but yeah, in, in the grand picture again, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, if you play against the best team in quarterfinals or in the finals, if you win, or I mean, if you lose, doesn't actually matter, right? So, whoever we got, it was just another one on the block, right? So, um, yeah, doesn't matter. So I think every year you improve, every year you get better, but the problem is the competition does the same. The last few years, the East especially, haven't been as strong as they used to be. This year it feels like Korea is like kind of back, and also China is like stronger than ever, basically. So I think going up against Gen.G, uh, they are like a bit slower team than a lot of the other Eastern teams. I feel like we're sometimes a bit better against like slower teams where we can uh, make a few more calculations, and that feels like what kind of how Gen.G plays. We definitely play like a lot slower than other teams, so in that sense I feel like we have a pretty good matchup. We will get to execute our game plan and then hopefully take them down. It's pretty good. I have a mask for you as well, so you can just look super cool on stage. For me? Yeah. I'm not going to be on stage. Oh, who's going to wear the mask on stage? Yeah, who's going to wear the mask on stage? <laughs> Pinoy. Pinoy can wear the mask. Yeah. What mask? I'm a GT mask. mask. It's like no one was here. <laughs> Shit, man. This is the room of our fallen European brothers, fanatic. It's gone. They are not here anymore. There's no trace of them. No one will remember. Everyone will forget in two weeks. That's how sad it is. Everyone always remembers the champions yeah. only. And on the other side, there's room of Rogue. Well, no one cares about one Lions. There was Rogue, there was two, and fanatic. And two of them are gone. But the third is going all the way to the finals. I learned it like once. And that was the only time I did it. Wait, does everyone know you're with us? Everyone? Like, don't know. By, by going here and not telling anyone, you actually wasted like 10 minutes of our time. Low key. It's fine, guys, we'll have to wait anyway. Because we were waiting we play, for you. So. And now he also has to go back and get your mouth. And he had to knock on your door. Trying to be too early is not always a good thing. Well, I'm in the shot. Does that your old? Lol. <laughs> the classic answer. Look at the bottom of my screen. Okay, are we ready? Having to prove that you are actually are among the best in the world is always like a driving factor, like it's always a motivator for me. Meeting Genji first and also them one after in semifinals, I think is maybe like the best possible uh, outcome for us that we could hope for. Their mid laner and their jungler are like worse than other Eastern mid and jungler. Of course, they're still very good on like their own comfort champions. And I think it's like more alike to actually the EU champion pools that Cavs has played against a lot. He would feel pretty comfortable like playing up against BDD. It's not like a, an easy game or anything. I just think we probably got like the easier of the lane matchups comparatively to like, I guess, the other Eastern teams. It's been nice, Hey, the samurai and others. Standing behind Mickey, just... Yeah? Yeah, I saw that. Why? Nice. Why? Oh, that's enough fun to her today. Who wants the mask? Be nice. Who wants to be the man behind the mask? Overall, level ones are always like quite important, but I think in this meta it's especially important because junglers right now, they need to farm a lot more than other metas, so if you fall behind, the only way you can catch up is by farming. Like these junglers like Nidalee and like Graves, they can't they can't gank as well as like tank junglers. So if they do try and gank and it doesn't work, then they're just gonna fall really far behind. T to sort of prepare a level one, you have to start with like 
the standard, which is where like all five players are like five different points of the map. And that's generally, well, what I did against Genji, where I looked at all of the games they're playing. I see that there are top laners standing in a position that we can abuse. I see that their mid laner isn't covering mid lane, for example. So we can go through mid lane and use that to our advantage. So it's just about being aware of, yeah, when we can fight and when they can fight and making sure that we talk about what to do. I'm gonna intimidate fucking Ruler. Ruler? Are you going to like the uh, stage of this? Yeah. Yes. yes. Pretty good. It's all a mental game in the end. That's true. I don't know. <laughs> I think G2, they're looking at the game almost like a Rubik's Cube. I think if they're given enough time, they can solve most puzzles. I think usually they find some intricate, uh, delicate way to play uh, the map out so that you look at it and you're like, wow, this is very innovative. In general, G2 are kind of like this, this staple for innovation in Europe. And if they've had a week of practice and they feel like the meta is not suited to them, like we've seen without the playstyles for the top side, then maybe they found something that can round it out a bit more to make it easier for them. G2 need to find their true identity, I feel. Yo, 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 Pino, my boy, yo. I cannot, wait, what? You ready? Yes, baby. He's top, but I'm top two. Okay. Also just farm, maybe just farm both, honestly. Do you want to take a 2v2? Yeah. To get some XP. I'm here. Oh. I can base in TB, I can base in TB, I can see in five. Yeah. Wonder missed the stun. Rascal's just gonna put a huge amount of damage down here onto the community. Like, Clint flashes in, flash away from Wonder. I'm team behind, I'm team okay, behind. Just okay. about escape. See what we can do. Oliver has flash. Okay. Yeah. No, flash, flash, no flash, 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 flash. What? Put your mic a bit closer. I think I just flash on him. Okay, go, go, go. I don't have anything. I'm outside, I'll outside, I'll outside. Okay. Caps caught out by two, nowhere for him to go. The Emperor slides in and gets his first kill of the series. Oh, so fucking cringe, man, like. Maybe I'll just run top. I have some free time. I think our forcing is not good. I think we can like take it slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thing, go, 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 go. Oh, he's alone, he's alone. He has cleanse, he has cleanse though. I'll just red card him. Ruler has cleanse. I think it was a blue card that was locked in there. The cleanse, Ruler gets underneath the tower, but already he is down. Nice, yep. good job. That's really fucking good pick. Ruler seems like a bit of a slip in judgment then. And in that small window, G2 is able to capitalize and they get themselves a pick. I will in 20, so the 80 is like prime target. I think I will get this wave and then I can move first. Maybe. I am two levels ahead though. I give you on a fight, I guess. This is really good for okay, us. The, the only problem is next Drake, okay? You step up, Jin. I heal you. Well, we, we have, we have uh, I, th I think we can get it, yeah. I have a fire now. It's much easier for me to, to, yeah. to get me pro. Looks like they'll go hard top. They'll go hard in top right now. I mean, don't, don't go like too deep, right? Just like if you I mean, find look, look for them, look he's for them. Okay, Kali, Lilia, 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 maybe? As the destiny comes in, Clid once again, the one they're looking to catch out. Life going forward, there's a stun on Clid. Babby caught out in the jungle. We can nash, no? We can nash? Yeah, I'm kind of wanting, wanting the zero here. G2 have been looking for all the curtains open. Mickey, I can heal you. Nice, Baron, Baron, Baron. Nash, 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 nash. Go nash. Go nash into Drake. Nash yeah. into Drake. It's very important, okay? Very important. Okay, time to summon us. Terra flash. Two players left for Gen G. It's G2 start off the bat. I'll push out top Listen, and then I have to. They still have Terra flash. Actually, wait, can we fight in the mid? Look at what they're doing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Going hard. The oh, they want to go there. I'm going, I'm going. Crystal. Slow, slow, slow. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm running out, I'm running out. Okay, that. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, full HP, uh, full HP, almost. Well, not really, but kind of. I, I use my ult, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just fight, just fight, just fight, just fight. Planting ulting, planting ulting. Okay, the captain, I can kill you. I think he used the Clarity there, has a stun card for BDD, who pops the stop. Watch Mickey's dive onto the back line. G2 looking for another one of their fights as they take down two early on. The Destiny looking for that flank position. Cap steps forward. Clid low enough to be hit with a single card. Teleport up towards the top lane as G2 continue their advance through the river. Ruler has nowhere to go. Wonder chases him down and slices him up with his leg. And now Rascal, the last one on the menu. G2, get the ace in the top lane. Yeah, okay, we cannot lose now, okay? They yeah, are, 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 are. Yeah, just, just play with Tia, play with Tia. There, good rush it. I'm going to close the big one. <laughs> <laughs> if you rapid fire anyone, I, I will just follow. I'm going to be there for the fight. Caps gets a stun card. You can see Rascal locked out. BDD flashes forward, lands onto Perks. There's a dazzle. The cleanse doesn't get him away, and there's one kill already for Gen G. Mickey coming from the side as Wanda dives onto the BDD on the back line. Two for two so far as Caps now going to step forward. Clint low. Everyone on Gen G's low. I ain't it, sorry. No, you're he, yeah, I you baited. Bait it. Right, you baited, yeah. It was, like, it was not even close, once. I guess it wasn't close. Yeah. Mickey. Yeah, you killed Tarek. Tarek is killable, no? I never thought I would like see this day. I'm deathless, or Deathless, 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 deathless against Kalista Tar. It was a close game until it wasn't, Vedius. From 300 gold the difference to 12,000 at the end as G2 send a statement in game one. Okay, when you said yeah, well, that you can get it before Drake, that rapid fire, I was like, okay, I guess it's worth it. Maybe I can get it. I maybe I can get it. I didn't and you didn't. Yeah. And you actually didn't. Yeah. Can we close the door, please? One, two, we can keep the same. Um, we can just decide. Um, I mean, the two of us, man, we are doing 
not doing no one too. Yeah. We can also make a draft where like we don't third pick tier, right? And we pick like let's say we just like match whatever they pick and we last pick mid, right? Okay, thank you. He never fails. <laughs> oh my god. I only got to eat two dumplings, that's sad. I, I didn't get to eat a I single one. I only got to drink the soup and the dumpling and I even burnt, burnt my tongue. Yeah, the soup fucking exploded. I, oh, honestly, I got to like take a bite, but I couldn't like eat, you know? So I just like, like took a bite and left. So maybe we need yeah. dumplings. Um, I didn't drink the soup, nor like eat the food. I just, just like opened bit it. it. Yeah, yeah, I opened, opened it, it. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we eat dumplings outside. Because we have like just chilling outside. And then it's cold and you eat the warm dumplings. I mean, when I go back to the room, my hello, dumplings hello. will be like oh, room temperature perfect. because I left them like uncovered. So no, no, I don't, no. I will not get burned. I can just like one shot them. I will one shot all my dumplings. I will just fucking swallow them. Nidali could be here, but yeah. I'll go Nash, I'll go Nash, I'll go Nash. Just wait, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Oh, Ash, maybe two, two kills. Yeah. I pull still flash. Yeah, yeah. Just older. I mean, he has flash, so he will just. Last question. Okay, we can dive. Maybe I have ult. I have Wait, wait, I'll just push it. Push it, push it. I'll go around. Deny them. Eat me and throw me at him. Um, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> oh. He would have dodged to the side, but the tongue lash comes out onto Clint, who gets caught with the abduct. Guys, maybe not. Okay. I don't want to die. I'm time moving. I'm shadowing, I'm shadowing, I'm shadowing. I'm going to Kaboom, but I'm here. I'm, I'm catching TF. Slow, 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 slow. Kaboom will be as well. Kaboom will be as well. I can eat whoever. I will eat my kill. Watch from BDD underneath the tower. Perks into the fourth shot. We'll get it. Rascal comes in from the side. The arrow's gonna land from downtown as well. Solar flare stolen away there by Caps. As life looks for the re-engage. Ruler stepping forward. There's the stun. And now Ruler's been put to sleep. Underneath the tower, he is dozing off. And Yankos will happily accept that kill. But we don't have to fight. Top side, no, no. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I'll TB in if they go E. I'm gonna channel the gym. Okay. I'll TB, I'll TB, I'll TB. I'll TB, can we go? No. I'll go in, I'll go in, okay. I'll go in. Go Lona, go Lona. Snake from BDD. Life a little bit overextended. The rest of his team not there to help him. Life shut down by the Jin. One, two, three, four, and the fourth finds its mark. Clint goes forward <laughs> and he goes down as well. You're a reckless or? Yes. <laughs> Caps is unstoppable. And G2 collapse on the play from Genji. It's like a bit much, but I think we get it. We get any of us, I think. I think Silas, you should base for tempo. I still have TP up. Ash is bot. There's the up, Nash. Yeah, they give it. Get Dragon as well. Now it's a great fight for Genji as they push forward, but the Solar Flare finds three on the back line. It's a double for Caps, and the curtains have opened. And perhaps this is the encore the Perks was looking for. BDD sniped down a triple for Caps. Penta kill? Nah. Is it a Penta kill? No, I don't have ult. Uh, just get Dragon. Yeah, not much. Uh, Dragon but, kill. But the Penta. <laughs> I think that was a Leona ultimate, but with all the yeah. AP of a Yes, it was. The power of a thousand suns. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they meant, but we don't really have clean Ashes. <laughs> But yeah. like, please, I get I have... it though. Thanks, Kuka, thanks. I don't have to. Are we oh. standing? Are we standing? We're standing? I have Kisas, I have Kisas. Just Solar Flare is going to hit on towards the back line. That's Perks caught out, but you can see Life almost down before you can even get out of the fight. Ignite taking all caps, use it to stop watch to dodge the spear. He's going to come back up and with the ammo. Oh my god! Hit me, Miggy! Oh, no, that no, is no, disgusting! It's fine, I think. I've hit now. Come here, KW! Clint dives in, Rascal dives in, but they've already done, and Caps is still alive, and he's almost back up to full HP. Ruler, no the last shot. man standing, and what a fated end it is for Genji as he goes down. Oh, Hopefully Silas, God. by the way. What by the way, I think okay, Silas is so make so much fun of them. Like, like, it's actually it's so, so okay, it's crazy. <laughs> this is so unplayable for them. My side is better than Caps. It's uh, mini <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 that's fine. That's fine. He was <laughs> waiting for this moment. Sure, yeah. Yeah. For the whole week, probably. It was actually. GG. This has been once again a demolition from the LEC number one seed as they go 2 0 up versus Genji. Yeah. I just fucking jeez my pants. It's like, oh wow, look at this. This is Silas Cups. I don't want to mention it, but I'll mention it. So let's just not get reverse swap today. Okay. Mm, I like it. Actually, I have never got the reverse set, reverse set in my life, though. <laughs> I have. It would be I a did. it would be a first time experience. It's probably the worst. But I think Fnatic. Okay. Yeah. I, I think Fnatic sure is worst, also yeah. like they is not the first time getting reverse swept, you know. <laughs> True. Yeah. Like, last guess, year they also got reverse swept. So it's like one thing about the games, though, they don't play perfect. So if you trade sides, for example, we have to be there and ready to punish them. We're the better team. We are yeah. the better team. G two three one two three. G two. G two. G two. G two. G two. G two. <laughs> Do you want to just blind W the bush out on like honestly? No, we're just walking. Actually? Because then I can hit W if Three he's seconds. There. Okay, uh, two seconds. I'll just W blind. Oh, I'm... I'll go. Yeah. Okay. 
You guys are so good or what? Like we are getting this a flash. <laughs> like it's our peak level one performance. <laughs> like we never had some. Against OG we had better. That's three different level ones we've now seen from G2 and three different flashes that they've burnt. He that could be here. I have good TP right now, by the way, he chases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what if you go? Yeah, I can yeah. See. I'm not TPing, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm not Maybe they think it's no me. Flash, no flash. Dives forward, can't quite get I'll the flash. damage. The yeah. skin comes out from life, but life hits with a dancing grenade. Sure. Is it on a flash? Time on a flash. They missed the flash. I'm just sleeping. You're sleeping. No, I ult. That control ward was outside of the bush, so they don't know the Yankos is waiting. And Caps comes in with a destiny of his own. He has a date with the semi-finals, and G2 take two in the bottom lane. Oh my word. Okay, Drake is up in 20. There is a chance they swap and play for Drake. Do you just want to go top and get the tower and trade, or do you want to actually so, yeah. match? Oh, it's not good. It's not good. We, we have to go. I think. Oh, we just go. Oh, I'm tipping, I'm tipping. Okay, okay, maybe kill me, maybe kill me, maybe kill this. No eat, no eat on them, no eat on them, this is not bad. I can double volley. W. Red Ecton is killing everyone. Nice. Coming, 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 coming. Double volley, double volley. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, we can get Drake. Nice. Objective, good. objective. <laughs> get uh, Drake I'm and then Drake. like... I'm going Drake, I'm first. Oh, I'm yeah, kind of maybe. fighting. I have QSS, I have QSS, I have QSS. I can TP. Drake, but volleyball will TP. I have to run, look, I have to run. Uh, look, 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 look. Okay. They are over the low, over the low. Play it slow, play it slow, play it slow. I'm gonna come behind TF. Kinder rule, kinder rules. Just kill Kinder, Kinder. Let me get her, let me get her, let me get her. I'm gonna get her. Nice. I thought that was that was that was that was that was shot at. Can we end? Can we end? Can we end or no? I'm not sure. Only S is strong. Only S is strong. Look at them. Look at the TF. Maybe Jin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go here. They win. We win. Behind, 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 behind me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going Volibear. Just, just kill Volibear. Kill Volibear is really fucking chunk. Can we, can we kill him? Really fucking dead. Ow. He's down! Caps used the line Smith to keep himself alive! Yanko's on the chase! Clint has died! Life has died! G2 have done it! Gen G, unless Ruler and BDD can pull a rabbit out of a hat, they are done! The deadly flourish connects! BDD goes down! G2! Four for none! And now they're pushing for the win! G2 will carry the hopes of the West into the semi-finals! They will carry the hopes of Europe into a showdown against Damwon Daming after they're done demolishing Gen G on their fountain! <laughs> Wait, 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 I need to. I need to... <laughs> Alright, it's going on Twitter, so. <laughs> wait, you didn't say that. I, resi oh. I rescind my consent. Really? No. <laughs> of course not. As long as it's with Mickey. Expected to win against Genji, mostly because I had a dream that we lost against them, and usually my dreams don't come true, so I knew beforehand that we were gonna win. Yeah, I mean, I think they just had bad preparation. They just kind of had a bad day as well. I think individually they played poorly. Didn't really adapt well to our level ones. So yeah, I would mostly say it's kind of on them more than us playing well, even though we did play quite good ourselves. So going into the Damwon series, uh, we kind of had similar approach to the meta as like against Genji. Uh, obviously Damwon do have like deeper champion pools, so we can't like punish them as hard in draft. So it'll definitely be like more difficult, but uh, we're going with like some of the same champions and same kind of like the drafting philosophy. What the fuck? Hello? I think they put me on hold. But no one even spoke to me. Can someone talk to me? I'd like to order food before scams. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think they had grabs. It's fine, I will just suck it up. Yeah. Oh, oh, I suck it up. Oh, no way, I was just in, I was in so fucking hard today, it's crazy. I, so, I thought I was uh, fucking... Anything different than <laughs> usual or...? <laughs> I love out. Got him. Just a general outline already what we want to do with, against Dumbon. Um, main topic would be any potential cheeses that we talked about or think could be good. Last year felt more f luck going to the final. This time around it actually felt that we worked hard for it a bit more because I think the gap was clear to identify. Like before I just the mechanical skill of, of Asian teams was higher than uh, European counterparts. But this time around there was the actual topic of how to play around your jungler which we had to improve on uh, and that quite fast because it was a big gap and everything we learned so far in Europe this year did not work out. So I think it, felt, it feels more accomplished, let's say. 
actually reaching the semi-finals this time around? Personally, if I'm playing Pantheon Jin, I would probably the least like to play against Ezreal Bard. Because I don't mind playing in Stun Kench or tank support with Pantheon. So in the best of five, of course, picks and bans are different. And then, of course, always realizing that Korean teams have a very structured approach. So it's never surprising playing against them. They might just look at their stats and like, oh, we are 4 with 0 with Syndra. Everyone's buying Syndra against Cups. He's, he picked it before. So maybe they will just think we are like, if TF is out, they will actually prior Syndra really highly. So I think against Damon specifically, it could be like actually good cheese. Damon is a team where I say they don't do anything special, which sounds like a flame, but what I mean is they just play the game like it's supposed to be played. So if we don't respect that and we get a bit too cocky and go, go for a trade we shouldn't go for, we will lose it. It's more about sticking to what we can play. If the game is even in the mid game, we have a really good chance of winning. But if we do these mistakes in the early game, we're suddenly we'll be having tempo, it's gonna be really hard to come back from that. So the top Asian teams are way better at playing on the junglers than any team on the West was before. That's something we have to mitigate and try to play around. If it's enough, we will have to see. I won such a fucking hard game challenge, you wouldn't believe it. I won a nice one. It's great. Okay, so, first things first. Today's series is a rematch we have all been waiting for. I am betting on G2 being able to disrupt the mid game. I'm, I'm betting on them being able to plan well, get good drafts in, and rely on that vast experience that they have. And that's also why I'm going to predict G2 to win. Hey, Showmaker. Good luck. Thank you. Fog the flash away from Showmaker. The watch out. Evie right. tries to dance on him. Mickey getting caught out, getting cut down. The ignite ticking. Was to fake come up as well. This is going to be a big deal. Wonder trying to flash out to stage, but the ult still coming in. Mickey now running, but that's the Hacker Mall right back in. Caps is taking the Hacker Mall away, but they've locked him down. They've knocked him out. And here comes the curtain call. Oh, no, that's run. really bad, really bad, really bad. Can you take it, names left and right? Dan Wong Gaming sweeping G2 off the map. It's going take a miracle for G2 to flip this one back to them. All too easy. Dan Wong Gaming resetting some expectations, reminding G2 that not all LCK teams are created equal. Down one gaming gonna strike first blood in this series. It's fine. We always have to give the first game so we can win the second one. <laughs> we are back to the usual. Yeah, we also love game one first with the that side. Two minutes left. And we fucking smash them afterwards. G2, they're on the back foot. They've got to adapt coming into this game and we're gonna have to see what changes. Honestly, we just need one game to warm up. We always need one game to warm up. Possibly to go. No flash. Waiting on the hard CC. That's going to be the Hextech ult made a very well timed. Is going to get the lock of Nagari trying to go for the outplay, but there's just too many resources spent top lane clean from G2 Esports. He can't get away with this Fury. Okay. Okay. Ash is arrowing, Ash is arrowing. Okay, okay, I vote for you if, if they got this. It's not the best team. I can best team. Best team. High five, high five, high five. You're behind us. You're behind us. I need to base. I vote for you, okay? Just in case. Just wait for Kimble. Yeah, we should fight. I'm going through it now. 40 seconds, Nash, not sure you're gonna like, oh, going. Oh, no. no. Can, can, we, can we keep going top? I can ult the wave, maybe? Or no, no, guys, 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 we don't have to, we don't... This is okay, the only, yeah. literally only way to lose the there game, by the way, come on. I will start, I will start, Nash. Oh, we turn here, we turn here, we turn here. Big Ezreal damage, Showmaker all alone means he takes the full brunt of that assault, and now they're trying for the follow-up. Hanko sleeping forward, and that's gonna be it. Showmaker just in the midst of the meat grinder. G2 now pressing forward. Game one, all about Dom 1, all about early dominance. Here, G2 keep it scrappy, keep it fresh. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I need to dance, because you were just dancing before. Oh, yeah, yeah. true, yeah. Actually, true, yeah. G2 gonna close this one out with confidence. It's hard for me to judge a Dom 1 series just because we're off on so many levels. Game 2 has shown me that maybe also in one game only, Dom 1 were not that unbeatable team. Like one that needs to be fine, taking something at 4 or 5, like we didn't take this either. Fine. But in this case, we. Well, we should yeah, ask I think no, fine. he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. I mean, it, 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 that's the best job for three years, grabs. Like, we know he's fine. He will play like, a fucking, like, he'll just pick fucking, like, fucking team or something. Yeah. Nah, no, I don't know. Well, we just said we should flip it, right? And now we say he's fine picking a matchup with no, the It's way less flippy than previous draft. Previous draft, they were so prepared for it. This draft, they will be like, what the fuck? I think in general, like, when we played against Damwon, the entire series, it felt like we kind of just handed them a lot of fights when they were stronger. And we kind of like bought into the 
fight for like every objective like they do without like thinking about how we actually want to approach the game. Tiankos could get cheeky and go for a kind of play He's here. Gonna go flash over the wall. Is he going to go for the dash here on the barrel trying to finish one off? Barrel just sidestepping though. The wolf just barely ticking. First blood coming through. Mickey from downtown with the spear. Very well done there from G2. Uh, set up very nice. It was a slow push. They're now looking to repeat dive on Ghost. Gonna go in. Mickey can block a little bit of damage, but does he have the mana to actually block anything? Mickey is gonna get traded back. Minion's gonna finish the job. That's a double kill for the Ash. Oh, what? That's worth. I guess. I guess. It's uh, fine. It doesn't matter. Got the wave. Uh, wave. Okay. I felt like it was kind of hard to play Pantheon against their champs, and especially after we butchered the dive on Ash, and he got two kills. After that, it was like really hard to play. Game three, I think, was really winnable if he just don't do the things we did. Here comes Wonder, 3v2. There's oh. no flash on Showmaker. That's an electrocute Zion. What can Wonder get done? That's going to be a big knockup. Decent amount of damage here, but they have to respect the Syndra ultimate now coming through. Wonder going to try to get into the backside, but Yanko's already taken down. G2 missing on that Zion. I'll cost them a ton. It's really odd to me to see that we decide to lose games on a scuttle crab or like a skirmish level 6. Looking out, Barrel trying to find a priority target to stun. Perks for now untouched. The rest of the team now leaping out. Caps trying to jump back in, but how much damage can he actually get done on the back side of this team fight? One getting taken down. That's Mickey out of the fight. Wonder stepping forward. Caps in the middle of everybody. Curtain call, but who's actually going to go down? Caps running for the hills. Shuriken flip takes him out to safety, but the flash in. The point blank shot from Canyon to finish the job. The polymorph as well. Wonder going to get taken down. Don Juan Gaming move to match point. 2-1 up against G2 in the semifinals. When we came in to the quarantine before the event, I think we seen just how far behind we were. We had a lot of catching up to do, basically, and I think we did well to catch up to where we did, but I don't think it was a simple case of us not turning up on the day. I think they were just by far a better team than we are right now. This is the final huzzah for G2. If they lose this game, they're out of the World Championship and everything they've worked for this year. Well, that's going to be the knockup as well, but no one's taken Tower Aggro quite yet. Gold card can go in, but Wonder Unstoppable has already used the Searing Charge. Big Haymaker, Showmaker taking the tower. One more auto, auto, do it. Can they get it? Nagari is going to get one. One more tower shot. Has to flash out, but well-timed, and they get the dive, and Domwon off to an incredible start. As a pro player, like you kind of know you'll be in these positions We've been in these positions from both sides, like from the winning team and the losing team, so you kind of know how it feels to be down momentum and down in the game. Mickey and Perks, though, caught out here. The immediate setup, one, two, three, four on the stacks. Instead, they're focusing on Perks, but that's Showmaker over the wall. That's the stun card. Perks does not have the damage that he needs. Now it is a 4K gold lead. Now it is Don Juan Gaming winning literally everywhere on the map. But I knew the game was really hard already, like from when they were like 4-0 up and had push on every way. So, and then when they were 7-0 up and they got a mid turret, and then at some point when they got like a bit more kills, I kind of knew it was over. I mean, there was like not really come. I mean, you could see from the game there was not really comeback potential. Cool. This Herald's gonna get used on an inner tower. I don't think there was a point where I or we gave up as a team when they went mid lane. When they, the game was very difficult at that point, and they went mid lane with Herald and tried to end the game, our counts were like, wait, there is no way they can end right. Like, and they just cannot end like that, right? <laughs> But then when Kindred ulted Herald at the Nexus, we were like, oh wait, they are actually going to end the game at 90 minutes. They go for end or? I mean, they are, yeah. Okay, they are trolling, that's not going to get the thing. No, it's hard. They cannot end, I think, no? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. It will hit again. <laughs> Dan One Gaming set their sights on the final. They look to G2, they take their time with it, but they sweep aside the LEC. G2 must be shell-shocked right now. I'm shell-shocked. They just got rocked. Fastest game in world's history. Till next time, boys. Till next time. Peace and love. I always start like doubting myself a bit when we lose. This is my fourth Worlds, and every time was a loss so far. So it kind of just gets worse, if anything. I think every loss I probably hurt more than the last one. I still have more to prove and things that I would like to show, but we are going home now, and we didn't get to play in like front of the crowd as well, which 
obviously sucks. We have played like online for all the most of the year, and now at Worlds we finally play offline, but without crowd. And I was looking forward to actually having a crowd as well. I just don't feel like I'm done with the tournament. Still feel like I have some unfinished business right now. So the roster question is always hard. There is a three-year rule where a head coach mostly stays maximum three years because afterwards his routines get too stale and players know how to interact with him to get what they want. So that's the question always coaching staff has to ask themselves as well if we feel like we can have our impact. Going into next year, everyone kind of has to make their own decisions on just how the team wants to go next year. I think it's like a weird thing when it comes to esports rosters. It's not very common that teams stay together for very long. I think after playing together for such a long time, change is usually beneficial for both sides. I think we have like something really good going on and maybe at some point there will need to be a change, but I don't think it has to be because we lost here in the semifinals against someone. I think we still have a lot of uh, good left to show everyone. I, I can see a world where we do have a different roster next year. It's just waiting to see. I, I can't say for sure either way. It, everyone has to make their own decisions on that. Unless I get sold to Turkey, I think I'll probably stay in G2. <laughs> we still have like a, a really solid team. Like I think all our players are very talented. We can definitely win Europe two more times next year, and we still like have a shot at winning Worlds. But it's very difficult to say right now because, yeah, we have tried two years and we failed two years. And after a long time like that, um, there's definitely a lot of doubt in everyone's mind. So I will leave it to them to either agree with their doubts or maybe try again. To the fans, lastly, sorry that we didn't make it to the finals. I'm happy that you guys have dedicated so much time sitting at home, watching us, cheering us on on like all social media, watching this content, I guess. Is, uh, I'm very grateful for, for all, the, all the nice messages uh, after our loss or even after uh, uh, wins as well. So thank you. I uh, appreciate everyone that gave us Supportive messages, fan gifts as well, they were pretty nice. I don't usually get gifts, but I got a gift yesterday, so that was pretty nice. It's unreal that uh, even though the main, like the focus is always on the main five guys, right? Uh, but I've seen so many fans include me and that is just like overwhelming. I am very grateful for everyone who is still supporting me and the team and we are still the same team and we always strive to be number one and we will keep trying, it doesn't matter in this roster or maybe in a different one, um, you know, G2 will always stay the same and they will always compete to be the best, so keep supporting the team and thank you very much. I do just want to thank you guys though, uh, because it's been a great journey in G2 uh, for many, many years now. It feels like we've made like a really big run really big progress from zero to pretty big team and the esports organization in general so i've been here since the beginning so that's basically what feels very good about it, it feels like home so thank you guys for the support
What I need you to do is just pick up your microphone, here's the pack, and then you're gonna stand here and you're gonna walk in and sit down and look at the camera. In the microphone? Yeah. Well, just you just have to hold this so that it doesn't. Think you're like a Netflix documentary or not? I see the trick. Anyong. Anyong. I say a bit. Did you hit Alt F9 before you started the game? Nope. Then hit all. Uh... Are you talking to me? No. Hit oh yeah, that's all he's doing. Backwards recall. Sexy. Right. Hey Mickey, let's get back. Oh, oh shit, Mickey. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's a Pinoy out of lane. Hey girl, nice. I'm the so world champion. I was on the scary clown. Really scary clown. You ready? You ready? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. What no, is no, no, wrong no, no, with no, no, you? Mickey? We have to go hand by hand today. Like that. Like that? No, like, like you hand by hand just like this. What? Always. Oh, yeah. What about yeah, just like do. interlocking arms then? No, that's uh, like <laughs> hand in hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By hand. Is what about like elbow in elbow? What is the hand in hand? Elbow in elbow. Elbow in elbow. Yeah, elbow in elbow. That's like, oh, that's Corona shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we used it last week. It's fucking Muslim. That was the reason we problem. Yeah. Wait, but we don't have to do content anymore, right? That was the last content. Yeah, never. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we have no yeah. content. Now. Yeah. We did it. <laughs>